Yes, it's very helpful. Very helpful filming a cat. I'm supposed to be filming my bottles. Hi everyone, it's Mary McIntyre. Uh, welcome back to my channel and to a new video. At the time of filming this, it is July, but I cannot wait any longer to use this mould. I bought this mould um, from I Love Mixed Media after seeing Claire um, on Claire's Crafty Corner buying it. It's basically loads of little tiny apothecary bottles. Oh my goodness, they are adorable so adorable and they will make the most epic pendants so I really want to have a go at making those now I have ordered but haven't got yet some embossing wax which um if you can I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but there's loads of like labels with writing on here <clears throat> it's really fine super super fine detail so some of them I was going to have a go at just brushing the label with some mica powder and leave the background black but for some of them I'm going to leave them just plain black and I'm going to have a go with the embossing wax and you basically rub it over very gently and it'll pick up anything that's in relief there is some seriously fine detail in these, like I'm just in awe of how the heck they made this. It's hands down the best quality mould that I own, it's really weighty and yeah, it wasn't cheap but boy is it absolutely gorgeous, absolutely worth the extra money. So I can't even begin to explain how excited I am to, to do this, I know that it's ages off Halloween. I've got some mega plans for Halloween, by the way, guys. I hope you're ready for some um, something that's going to be different than me making some little resin stuff. That's all I'm going to say. There's going to be some big ass DIY projects coming up, um, which I'm really excited about. I hope you enjoy this. I'm so looking forward to seeing how these turn out. I've chosen three colours of mica powder for this. I'm going to give it a try using the olive. Um, chameleon powder from Let's Resin. Now I know from using this previously that the colour of this is deceiving. When it's got a black background it is legitimately bright green but on a poison bottle I think that could look okay as a change. Primarily I'm going for a, a kind of dark silvery grey and a bronze. Now these are just metallic they're not colour shifting so I don't want bright gold I just want something that's more kind of antique coloured and as I said I'm only going to pick this out on a couple of these because I want to try the new embossing wax when that arrives. So first up I'm going to use the olive. So with my small brush I focus this mica powder basically where I could see labels on the inside of the mould and I just tried to focus it there and sometimes I went into the caps as well just kind of seeing what detail I could see in the mould and what I thought would look good with some colour on it. So in the pot this mica powder is very much sort of cream with a hint of green. The minute that you get black resin on that it just legit turns bright green. Um, I was doing the same with the other two colours as well and when I'd finished doing the mica I went in with a cotton bud that had a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on it just to clean up any areas where I didn't want mica and then I went in with my black J addiction resin uh, which had been mixed up with some Vista uh, resin pigment struggling to contain my excitement. Now you saw in the, the last clip that I over poured one of these, couldn't have a 
pipette nearby and the resin was starting to go gloopy so I tried to scrape it off and made an absolute mess so I already know there are going to be some little tiny bits of overspill but I'm just going to get in and start demoulding these because I just cannot wait to see how they turned out right I'm going to do that thing um, of turning them all out and then I'll turn them all over afterwards this mould is hands down the best quality mould that I own. This and the Red Hot Moulds Ammonite, they're a similar quality, it's just next level. It's so much different than the stuff you get on Amazon. Worth the extra money for sure. I'll make sure I store this one properly <laughs> instead of just winging it into a basket like I do with all the others. Oh my goodness, these are so tiny. quite thin, like the necks, the stoppers are pretty thin, so am I going to put them in order of tiny? Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my word detail the amount of detail in this oh my goodness <laughs> that is, oh oh my god these are adorable there's so much detail in these that you can't see when you're just looking at the mold Look at the teeny ones. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh my god. I genuinely just can't look at them. <laughs> that is so cute. There's so much detail in these. Oh, they're just awesome. They're so awesome. So this is what I was talking about. Look at that. You can almost read the writing. My phone can't, but it's legible writing. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at the size of my finger for comparison. It's so small. The label with the, um, the mica powder that's kind of a goldy green. I can't wait for my... Um, gilding wax to arrive because that's going to pick out even more of that detail on the ones where I haven't added any colour. So next step I'm probably going to wind some string around the necks of some of them and turn them into pendants. I think they would just be awesome as pendants. I don't really have anything else in my life that is miniature so I can't use them for that but I can imagine making like a little miniature apothecary shelf and putting these on <laughs> they're quite flat back so you'd be able to glue them in place and they would just be so cool i'm not going down that rabbit hole i don't have space or time for that rabbit hole I used some UV resin to glue the bales onto the backs of these bottles and I'd never thought of doing that before and it meant that I could shine my little handheld um, UV curing torch on it and it made it kind of bite almost within like five seconds literally. So that's far better than using E6000 or um, some other similar glues that I have that take ages and ages to, to kind of set. So I did that with all of them and what, the ones that were big enough to have a bale, um, they, I went down to the smallest bale that I had and, and really little ones, I don't have any small enough for that yet. Once I'd done that, I kind of gave it a bit of a cure with the hand torch and then I used the paint on 
on UV nail glue next and I put a little bit of that on the back and then I wound some string around the necks of these bottles. So I have one here that is a mixture of wool and nylon which I've had for years and it's a kind of mottled um, earthy toned green. I also have some green embroidery thread that you can see there that I used on some of them and I also have that really thin cream crochet thread. So what I was doing is putting a bit of that UV glue on the back which was easier to control in the small area with the brush that's why I used that then just wound it round and then just spot cured it and once I was happy that everything was stuck down I basically put everything under my UV nail lamp for about three minutes just to make sure that absolutely everything was fully cured before going on to the next step. My gilding wax has arrived so I can finally finish these off. This stuff doesn't smell, oh, it's, it smells horrible but it kind of smells like furniture polish so I don't really want to get it on my fingers because I'm not sure it'll be particularly good for your skin. Um, but I forgot to order some new gloves so I'm having to use some old dirty gloves and I hope that this works. So I've never used this before so I'm just going to take the tiniest bit maybe dab the excess onto a tissue then just get one of these bottles and see what it does oops sorry went off shot oh my goodness so cute I can't cope with how adorable these are <laughs> Look. oh Get another tiny one. So I think that tiny dab of gold is going to do everything. Just kind of going at an angle to just pick up those corners. There is some texture on the bottom of this, like fluted parts. Can't quite get under there. Oh, there we go. That is just such a beautiful finishing touch. I wanted to try this gold to pick up the text, even though I've done silver on this one. I've used the silver mica but I want to brush over it with the gold as well and do a bit of a two-tone thing. So that just gives a bit of contrast. That is so pretty. Is the tiniest amount that you need to just pick up those little patches. It's like dry brushing really but with your finger. I guess you could use a latex brush to do these. That's just perfect. The finish is just perfect. Um, I love it so much. So again just picking up the bit from the tissue where I dabbed it off I'm going to just rub over this pick up that texture I 
combination of that plus the string around them has really, really elevated them, I think. I hope that's coming off on camera. I genuinely just can't cope with how cute these are. <laughs> They're just so adorable. That wax has been a really nice finishing touch. I definitely need to get some pewter coloured. So yeah, they're just, that wax has really brought out the texture as I thought it would. The pewter coloured one would work really well because old acid bottles always kind of have that on there as well. Managed to rescue the green one that I put too much on. Uh, but yeah, that, that wax has just really been the perfect finishing touch for these. So some of these are going to be pendants because I've already got the bale on them. Some of them are so small I don't have any bales that are small enough right now. But I can really picture these tiny bottles as earrings. I mean, I would wear them. <laughs> that doesn't mean other people will, but if I can find some bales small enough, I'm not sure I could drill through here and put a, a jump ring in without ruining the aesthetic. So um going to leave those little ones for now until I can maybe get some smaller bales but yeah just so beautiful I'll show you what they look like when they're on the cords in a minute massive thanks if you're still watching guys i really appreciate you all massively i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe take care i'll see you in the next one bye for now Good witches have apothecary bottles and a cat. It's a very extreme close up. <laughs> yes, it's very helpful. Very helpful filming a cat when I'm supposed to be filming my bottles. Instagram versus reality, that's the picture you see. You don't want to see the chaos around this stuff here and a hairy cat. This is how we roll, isn't it, Evie Bean? Frup. Frup. Ooh, cuddle time. Ah!